Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio. Today I'm working on my mission inspiration for May. Um, took a break from the 100 day project to, <laughs> to do my little mission inspiration page. The first prompt was to apply a layer of paint with a spatula. Does this count? <laughs> This is uh, one of those makeup, weird makeup tools they have, but crafters are using them for glue and stuff like that. So it's spatula-like, so <laughs> I decided that was close enough. I didn't want to um, have to go find a uh, spatula. And I am just, I found, so one of the prompts is to add lyrics. So I found a song that I thought would fit so and it talks about the bleak terrain and stuff so this is why my <laughs> background is like kind of muted and brown um for mission inspiration for May they had five different word prompts that you could choose from to help and get your inspiration going and the words were flight, mother, circle, green, and dawn. And I picked the word flight um, as my inspiration and then went looking for song lyrics. And I found a song called Amelia. Um, never heard of it. It's by Joni Mitchell, which I've heard of her. <laughs> and I would play it for you, but... Um, then I'd get a copyright strike on my YouTube channel, so we're not going with the music. Um, but I'm just adding the paint and then let it dry. The next prompt is to add some stamping, so I thought it would be good to take my script stamp out and um, just cover the whole thing uh, to add some interest in the background to the layers. Um, with just some scripting. I'm doing it, I think, in... Oh, it's it's my new clearance um, stamps, Versify, and I think this is Pinecone or something. Anyway, it's a brown. We're going bleak and brown. <laughs> And it's, it's a new stamp pad, so it's very juicy. So I end up getting a little bit of um, ink on the edges, so I am just I just don't want that to end up on my pages, so I wiped that off. And then the next prompt was add a die cut or two or three. I don't have a die cut machine, but I do have this die cut, fancy die cut airplane that um, I don't even remember. I don't even know if I bought it or if my mother bought it. My mother did a lot of scrapbooking. She totally could have been the one. I mean, I have all of her stuff in a bin. I rummage through it every once in a while. That could have been where this came from. Or I could have bought it for one of my trips, you know getting on a plane and just never used it because it's kind of big takes up a lot of space but it is officially a die cut so I'm just cutting the pieces out of the I guess what held them together so they didn't all get lost and then just gluing all the parts together I didn't line that up very good. And the uh, glitter glue um, sticks really quickly. So there's no sliding around with this glue. It's quite dry for wet glue. I was worried about getting this long skinny one lined up, but it didn't do too bad. So 
So how's everyone today? Hope you're doing well. This will be going up on Wednesday, so I'll be working. <laughs> of course. I'm doing this voiceover on Monday. Um, here in the States, it's Memorial Day, so I have the day off, which is nice. We went around on Saturday and put flowers at um, people's graves, family, my parents, some aunts and uncles. It's kind of nice we get together as a group of cousins and we all go and and do it. As all of our moms are gone, the group that gets together. I have one more aunt. She lives in Washington, so... I'll be seeing her in a few months, which will be nice. Now I'm putting these on kind of how it shows, and it just doesn't feel right. Like that little part sticking out, I'm like, I don't remember seeing that stick out on a plane. That's how it showed, and it was probably fine. But I end up changing it. So I'm looking at those, debating what I think about those. They just don't look right. So they're coming off. Yeah, they're tearing some of the white, but I got an extra layer of red down, so red paper, so it. It's not too bad. And I'm just going to snug those up against the wing a little bit closer. And we'll just trim that off. There we go. There's my airplane. <laughs> or my die cuts. And I decide to grunge it up a bit. Just put a little bit of brown around the edges. I don't know if it needed it, but I just wanted to do it. And I end up, like, um, one of the steps in the future is stamp. Well, no, we did stamping. But the stamping over paint doesn't really dry quickly. And by quickly, I mean it probably took me 15 minutes or so to put this plane together. You're seeing it in fast forward. Um, so it's sitting to the side drying, right? But I still end up touching the stamping and getting it everywhere. So my plane ends up even grungier than it looks right now, which isn't much. Just by touching it and touching the stamping areas. And because my plane's so big, yep, it's going to have to be chopped in half. <laughs> so there it went. We're just going to glue that down to the page and have, have the front and back line up at the seam. I try not to do that too much because that can really put stress on your pages, but it's just a homemade junk journal, so it's okay. So I think I think this is where it's at when I'm, you know, I've got a little bit of glue going on. My fingers might have gotten into it a little bit, touching the glue, touching the ink, touching everything. It's it's gotten smudged. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to fix it and it's not it's not helping. Once it's on paper it's it's permanent, right? So the next prompt is add numbers and so I have this stamp 
that um, you can kind of put a date or random numbers. I saw somebody do it on Instagram. They do it on every one of their pieces of art. Actually, they end up doing the date. Um, but unless you know that it's the date, um, it's kind of hard to tell. Which makes it kind of interesting. So the next prompt is add um, doodle flowers or plants. And I decided I would stamp this kind of poppy flower around and then doodle around it so that I had guideline. <laughs> and I try to use my white paint pens. And and now I'm now I'm attempting with the jelly roll pen. Makes a real nice fine line. It doesn't stand out very much. So then I go for the fatter one. I think that's what I do. To go around the flower part. Now it's standing out. And that ink that I've stamped on there stays wet too, so I have to be careful. I tried to stamp them at different heights. Um, I didn't do too much to change the, the petal pattern, but um, hopefully they don't look all identical. They're pretty close though. Alright, so the next prompt was add color with a q-tip. So I just I just have this like peachy color and I'm just using the q-tip to fill in the flower and it's mi mixing with the ink that is stamped there and giving a little bit of variation which I, I kind of like. Some of the stampings of the flowers had a little bit more ink on them and some had a little less so the ones with a little less you don't see that color as much obviously so Mission Inspiration is a Facebook group by Mike Deacon um, if you haven't heard of him I'll try to remember to put a link down below you can go to his channel you can um, he does a monthly challenge and then he does um, mini challenges during the month. So if you need more prompts and more things to create, you know, it's kind of fun to follow prompts. I love following prompts. It's like one of my favorite things to do is to follow prompts and see what I can come up with. And I think I say that every mission inspiration. <laughs> um... I don't know if anybody is doing ATC a day for June, but I, I'm i planning on it. And I'm thinking I might do um, prompts, like roll the dice kind of prompts, and see where that takes me. Um, the last couple of years I've kind of had a theme to them, so maybe prompts would be good. All right, the next part is add the song lyrics. And I'm gonna read them to you. The, the song was called Amelia, and I, I don't know what it's about. I just listened to it on YouTube so that I could hear the whole song. It's very strange. <laughs> but um, this part of this song, it says, I was driving across the burning desert when I spotted six jet planes leaving six white vapor trails across the bleak terrain. And I can't even get that out. Leaving six white vapor trails across the bleak terrain. So that is why 
I used the colors I used. <laughs> and that's why I put a little Q-tippy at the end of the plane. You know, it's got to have a vapor trail coming out of it. <laughs> I was re-watching um, this when I was editing out some stuff. And I saw that I did that. I'm like, why did I do that? Why did I do that? And then I read the lyrics again, and I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why. So it's really hard when you do it in white to read it. So I do go around the lettering again with some black. But I don't... I think I show a little bit, but I don't make you watch that whole thing. Because that does take some time. And if you're like me, you want to get to the point. <laughs> So here I start going around it, just to help it stand out a little bit. I wonder if they have these kind of pens in like dark brown or something. Okay, maybe I have you watch this one line, but I'm sure that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so the last, I think this is the last prompt, is to add scribble or doodle border. So my scribbling is scratching on some Stabilo All. I don't want, like, dramatic, scribbly border. So I'm scribbling on some Stabilo, and then I'm just going to activate it <laughs> with some water and just kind of shade around the border and they always say you don't have to follow I mean it's like there's no mission inspiration police they're not gonna get mad if you skip a prompt change a prompt as long as you're inspired to do something it's all good So that is about the end. I'll have a couple of close-ups for you. I hope you liked this one. I like how it turned out. Um, if you did like my video, please hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Love to hear what you have to say. And I just keep going <laughs> with that. <laughs> with the border. Hmm. Alright, well thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day.